In this tutorial, we will create this gardening system. We can plant a crop, water crops, harvest crops, check garden status and exit. Now let's check like this. As you see, we are getting your garden is empty, plant something. Now let's plant. Enter the crop name to plant, let's say for example tomato, like this. Tomato has been planted, let's check. And as you see, we have tomato and the growth rate of tomato is 0 out of 3. Now let's water like this. And as you see, this is the new growth rate of tomato. Now let's plant again. Let's say for example carrot, like this. Let's check. As you see, we have tomato and carrot in the garden. This is the growth rate of tomato and this is the growth rate of carrot. Now let's water again. This is the new growth rate. Let's water. Now let's add another plant. Let's say for example, potato like this. Let's check. We are getting tomato ready to harvest because the growth rate is three out of three and carrot and potato. Now let's harvest. We are getting harvesting tomato. Let's check. And as you see, we have carrot and potato in the garden. Now let's exit. So let's create this project using Python. So let's start by creating this dictionary garden and we will create this function, plant crop. We will take a user input saying enter the crop name to plant and we will check. If crop in garden, which is this dictionary, we will print the crop name followed by is already planted like this. Else meaning that if this crop is not inside this dictionary, we will add this crop inside the dictionary and we will set the growth value to be equal zero like this. And we will print the crop name followed by has been planted. Now let's start by creating the following function. We will create this function water crops. We will say if not garden, meaning that if our dictionary is an empty dictionary, we will print no crops to water, plan something first. Else meaning that if this dictionary is not empty, we will say for crop in garden, meaning that we are looping over crops inside the dictionary, we will check. If garden crop is less than three, meaning that if the growth rate of this crop is less than three, we will increment it by one and we will print watered followed by the crop name and we will print the growth rate like this. Else meaning that if this growth rate is not less than three, we will print the crop name followed by is fully grown like this. Now let's create the following function. We will create this function harvest crop. Inside this function, we will create this list. We will say crop for crop and growth in garden.items. So we are looping over keys and values inside our dictionary if growth is equal to three. So you will have inside this list crop names with growth equal to three like this. Then we will say if not ready crops, meaning that if this list is an empty list, we will print no crops are ready for harvest. Else we will loop over crops inside this list and print harvesting followed by the crop name and we will delete this crop from our dictionary like this. Now let's create the following function. We will create this function check garden. We will say if not garden, meaning that if our dictionary is an empty dictionary, we will print your garden is empty, plan something. Else we will say for crop and growth in garden.items, meaning that we are looping over keys and values inside the garden dictionary. We will create this variable status. The value of this variable will be equal to growing if the growth is less than three like this. Else it will be equal to ready to harvest. And at the end, we will print the crop followed by the status followed by the growth rate like this. Now let's create our main function like this. So you will simply say the following. We will create the main function and inside the main function, we will create an infinite loop and print this menu. And we will take a user input saying choose an option. And we will say the following. If choice is one, we will call this function. If choice is two, we will call this function and so on. Now, if this is not a valid option, we will print invalid choice. Please try again like this. Now, let's call our main function like this. So you will simply say if name is equal main, meaning that if we are running this file as the main file, not as an imported module, we will call this function, which is the main function. Now, let's run and see the result. Let's plant like this. Let's say, for example, carrot. Now, let's view. We have carrot. Now, let's water. This is the new growth rate. Let's water again. Let's add another plant. Let's say, for example, tomato like this. Now let's water. Now let's harvest. As you see, we are getting harvesting carrot. Now let's check. And we have tomato. Now let's exit.